Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. So I'm about to go make dinner and or eat a little something. Um, Angelica says we need a little inspirational reading after all this inspirational items. Everything God does is love even when we do not understand him. Basilia Schlink. I wonder if this is something Jewish. Or like from the concentration camps. Taken from a set of 24 different sayings. Okay, so it's kind of worn and all, but it's vintage. And if you would like this added to your lot, please just say the bookmark. We're not doing freebies right now. I'm just wanting to get the inspirational lot sold. There are a lot of Christian symbols, but there were other things. We had a tree, some trees of life. Um, we have something like this that says faith. So we have something for everybody. Um, I just, it, it is what I've got. You know, it came out of jewelry jars over the last two years. And um, this is what, all that's left of our inspirational, including any um, saints, any little tokens, any rosaries. This is it. I want to thank everybody that's been participating. Um, it's been exciting and fun, and I'm happy to get these moved on to people that can really treasure them. Um, before we get started, I just want to say Olivia's doing okay. She's, you know, not up for long and laying around a lot. Um, she's content. She is getting to where her her head like you see her cheekbones there's just not much left on her head in the backbone area it's all being taken by uh the tumor i guess it's that wasting syndrome that you get when you have the c word however she's still doing the the, th the big threes as the vet said she's got a tremendous appetite still and i've started we found a couple of cans to add variety um, from when she had real bad uh, diarrhea over Christmas. We gave her half of a burger and it, it, for her birthday, and it's because she's got this condition. We didn't know. She could not handle it at all, and so uh, she had was put on a special little diet to get over that hump back then. So I found two cans of that, and I'm just having a tablespoon I've uh, discovered heating some hot water and soaking her dry food in there for a little something different to help her because her mouth is dry. She drinks water and her mouth is still dry. So we're adding moisture to her food and now she's just regained. <laughs> she has regained interest. She raises her head up off the carpet when when it's dinner time and, and we go in there and Minka's crying and she's ready to get up and get outside and, and eat we you know we put her plate outside so she can stand some and still try to get on her legs and then she does her business and comes in and lays back down but um you know as long as she's doing the three we're going to keep on going she wants to eat um i'm okay with her head being real skinny but it's it's hard because you can just feel her cheekbones um, so I think about my great grandmother and how she laid around in bed all day and had to be bathed by her daughter, my grandmother, when she was in her early nineties. So that's how I'm thinking about it. Anyway, I'm doing good. My asthma is a little flared up. So what y'all heard earlier is, you know, me just being relaxed and not having a lot of push with the air. So I'm going to go do a breathing treatment, but I did go for a little walk around the property and I'm doing good. I worked, you know, got up early this morning and worked and all and was been working uh, in, in between um, these vintage items, getting all these vintage pieces. But now most of the floor is basically uh, empty box lids. So I'm going to have to get those out of here because we don't need them anymore. So it's exciting. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me just show this because it's, if I don't show it, somebody will um, need it. So there it is. So number one is uh, gla a glass 
red glass rosary. Look how incredible that is. And I believe all the pieces are there. Now there's a few that are broken and I will tell you. So that's number one. That's a fantastic piece. Number two, I think this is red plastic. So you have that one and then you have these little, this is a certain type of bead or some certain type of seed. So there's something with that. And number three, this is St. Teresa, pray for us with uh, a darker burgundy plastic. This is another one from last night. She is clothed, clothed, clothed with strength and digni dignity and new in the package and you are loved ornament, real nice. Number five, vintage, so cool. It's plastic, but what a cool color. And these are glass and they're little like rose roses. So I don't know if these have all the all of the beads they need to have. Um, who is this one? Saint Teresa again. Another Saint Teresa identical to number three. These this is um, a whole pile of these crosses. Some of them are on. Let's see, some of them are black and some are blue. They're thin. And some of them are on a chain and some are not. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine or ten, number seven. Now number eight is broken rosaries. They're all broken. These are a gorgeous, incredible glass. So if you need some glass, if you don't, if it doesn't sell, that's fine. I have plenty of people that want me to add glass. And this one has been, it's older, and it's very thin on, and the cross is gone, but whoever had it wrapped it around this one so that they had two. This is missing its cross. It's a little handheld one. These are the, the it's a special uh, cocoa bead, maybe. It's missing its cross. And this one... I, I think it's glass as well, missing its cross. That's number eight. Number nine, you have a worn one, but it is vintage. It has a really nice cross with Christ on both sides. It's got some rubs of color. I don't know if they, looks like they might have glued it to something, you know, like had it in a frame or something. Number nine, so you get three. This is a vintage piece, really cool plastic. And then you get this one, which is also plastic, but it's also very cool. So you get three rosaries, two for sure are vintage. Number 10, five crosses. Number 11, two necklaces. Here's this one, sparkly. And then this one is by Vive, 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 Vive. V-I-V-A-C-E. And it has the two crosses. When you wear it, it'll they'll drop on either side. That's number 11. 12. Peace be with you. It's like a keychain thing. The Mary Knoll sisters. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. So if you know anything or look these up, that's pretty cool. Then this is a very nice crucifix. You have this by, um, it's like the first communion type deal. And it's by someone that I've seen before. Uh, Dickens or Dick, somebody, something with a D. They make a lot of uh, religious items. Here's a handheld pocket one. All those come with number 12. Number 13 is glass and it's faith. And this is metal on the back and it's very cool. And then you have like a little sort of a token with a little bit of that crushed uh, turquoise in there. I mean, I think it's off of an earring. I didn't mean token, I meant charm. But there's that. Number 14 is a... Is a... Um, Fatima is a rosary. 
I think they're glass beads. They feel like glass. So 14 is the same as 15. And then number 16 is a bunch of single earrings. I don't know if there's a marcasite on there or not. Or just rhinestone, maybe just one. Um, this is just a little sparkly. It's part of a broken a bracelet. Uh, so single earrings with crosses. This one is a, a necklace and it goes sideways. This is like a pendant. And then you'll have this cross with a black. So that's it. And that's going to be it for a while. Um, I'm going to eat and rest.